Hello everyone, welcome back to Create Above and Beyond, Episode 3. Glad you could join us. Uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit the bell notification so you get notified when the next episode comes out. As well as do not forget to hit that like button. It really, really helps the channel out. Um, please, please go ahead and hit that. Would appreciate it. All right. So um, I've been working on a few things in between episodes. Nothing too big, nothing um, too fantastic. I haven't built any new contraptions or anything like that. Um, I have moved our smeltery, our miniature smeltery out here. <coughs> Excuse me. And I did put some um, crafting bench and a couple different uh, chests out here, chest here, so we can put our, um, that it, our ore comes out of from this. Um, let's see here. I put some more chests in here just so that we have a little bit more storage. And I've been breaking, breaking. I've been making bread. <laughs> um, I also did do a little bit of exploring. Not too far, just kind of out in this general direction. And the only thing I found was this big body of water. And no, nothing was too exciting or anything like that. Oh, it's going to get dark. Um, let's, let's wait until daytime. Uh, so, I'll, I'll show you what I found. Well, you'll well you're gonna find out. I have a ton of kelp. <laughs> you're gonna find out right now. And um, I find kelp and I planted it, and we I've been harvesting it nonstop. Um, as soon as it kind of grows to the the tallest, I go and I harvest it, and it's usually about uh, a stack, uh, roughly around there. Um, I have been going and getting andesite cobblestone because we we need that. Uh, let's see, is there anything in there? No, there's nothing new in there. Uh, went and chopped down some wood. Empty. This is just trees. Here is ore. So we, I did get a bunch of ore. We did find, I did find some diamonds. Um, I didn't do any explorations in terms of caves and whatnot. I just mined boringly and I found diamonds. Um, that kind of stuff. Here's our tools, here's our miscellaneous, and then here's our food storage. Uh, I did go out, and I did find some carved pumpkins, and I have some hay bales. I know we can make hay bales by using nine wheat. So I was thinking, actually, why don't we have another helper here? Where's our... Where's our stuff here? Who's... You guys stealing my crops here? <laughs> <clears throat> that might have been me. I don't know, but let's grab a couple seeds here. I think it was just two of them. But yeah, I was thinking about getting a couple of these minions to do a little bit more um, gardening for me, and I have two, I can make two of them, so why not, right? So let's go ahead and make two more. Hopefully they don't fight. Cool. You get to work, buddy. Um, and I think... Are they going to be... Yeah, they're going to be good. I want to put this one here. There we go. We got three of them. So this will keep um, our food production pretty good. Um, it's happened again. I have no idea, but my HUD at the top of the screen is just disappearing, and I'm not doing anything. Like, I, this should show door. What am I doing? I don't understand. Um, is there something in here that I'm turning off? I don't even know what it would be called. Uh, just give me a moment here. Let me look and see if it's something like a key binding that I have set up. Um, but we're going to need that because we're going to work on some contraptions today and we're going to need to see what they are and whatnot. So, uh, give me a second while I figure this out. Okay, I have figured it out, and apparently, I don't, I don't even know how I hit that button. Oh, I know exactly what happened. Okay, um, I'm going to have to change this, but my number pad, if I hit one, it disappears. So, I uh, just have to remember that I can turn that back on, because um, I do use that as, uh, I do use the number pad for some, um, some things in my, during when I'm recording. So, um, back to what we were working on. <clears throat> since we've got uh, that all the way. Um, we need to start working on a few things to get going. Now, 
I have been looking through JEI uh, while we're doing this. We'll collect some tomatoes uh, because sooner or later we're gonna have to find um, some from some beef and kept them keep them bred. But you can see here, this is our kelp, um, our kelp farm. We have sugar cane going. Uh, we have a farmer here that's actually helping us, which is which is awesome. Um, but going back to what I was saying, I want to start building contraptions, but I want to automate stuff so that just like, I don't have to hit a crank and just like burn through all our bread because basically what I do. Um, and so I was thinking, why don't we create a water wheel? Now the water wheel, it only does, it only generates a small portion of stress capacity. So it's not a whole great big deal, but this is actually really easy. It's a large cog wheel with um, just some slabs around it. So we can make probably like three or four of these and get these set up. <clears throat> now, if we hit W, I think we looked at these once before. It's just a matter of having water running over it. And the more sides that water's running over it, the more power, I guess, it creates. Now, I, I'm not sure. Can we have it go down the backside? I don't know if it's going to slow it down or not, but there are these goggles and these goggles allow you to see information about your contraptions. So we're going to need to craft one of these. Uh, it's just a gold sheet with glass and string. And I think we have string. Uh, if not, we can make, why do I have torches in there? Interesting. Um, let me find the string. Maybe the string is in here. Yeah. String. I think we have some glass around here, some too. If not, we can just make some glass quick. And then we just need a gold. Gold? Ah, here we go. Um, a gold plate. So we just need to come out here, throw that on there, and then crank this baby down on it. Perfect. There we go. So now we just need our... We got everything. Awesome. So we can put these goggles on here. And now when we kind of hover over, um, yeah, see right there, you can see it says zero SU at current speed. So we can actually see information while we're cranking or, well, when this is running, you'll, we'll be able to see information basically. So cool. Isn't that awesome? Um, unfortunately, it does take up a spot here. Now, I did notice that there's a cosmetic armor section. Can we put it on here and still? No, it doesn't work. Shoot. OK, it, they, it will have to sit there because I don't think. Yeah, these won't fit anywhere. In here. Shoot. All right, that's fine. Um, but that's that's really cool. Now let's go and craft up these water wheels here. So let's craft a couple of these. Um, so we need buttons and the um, andesite alloys, which we should have quite a few because I've been making them. I only have nine here, but. I thought I had a lot more. Maybe they're in here. No. <laughs> I guess I don't have a bunch. Um, but I did. Now, I need to make some buttons. Now, we should probably come out here and cut up our wood. Come back here. So let's put it on here, and then we'll throw our wood... And then this will basically just cut them up into oh, stripped wood. We'll do a few of them. You can see our hunger just go down like crazy. So this will be nice to have some form of automatic power. And one, one of these created six. Or was it four? I think it's double the amount. Why are you... It's not like you were scared there for a second. Alright, so if, to make buttons... I only made 12 buttons. No. 
I'll make one. Oh, we need planks. We need planks. Um, we have enough wood. Why don't we just do something like this? Oops. Um, I think it's something like this. <laughs> oh, I got this all screwed up. Uh, oh, well. Um, and then these in the corners. And then the andesite in the center. So we'll need to get some more andesite. So we got 18 of those. Let's clear that out. Now we just need uh, just some slabs. Oops. There we go. Is that going to be enough slabs, you think, for three of them? Yeah. Perfect. Sweet. We've got three. What am I doing here? Sweet. All right. Um, so we need to find a place that we can set this up at. And I'm thinking temporarily we'll set it up over here. So let's get some cobble. And um, let's get rid of that. I don't know how big these things are. <clears throat> so what if I hook that up there? Yeah, and we'll have the water come down and around. So that will work. Now, do I have that too high? I think maybe I should bring that down one. Let's bring it down one. I was thinking I think it was a I was thinking it was a little bit bigger. Um all right, so let's do this. You know, actually yeah, we can always add to this, right? We'll we'll just do this. Okay. We're going to have the water come down the front here and then go back that way, I'm hoping. And then we'll see about the back side here. Um, I have that running through just like that. I don't know. And it's getting dark already. Chase. It's so dark so quick. Should probably add another wall. Something like that. And then what we'll need is we'll need some way of providing power off of this. And I think there's some uh, gearboxes or something along that lines. I'll, we'll have to look. That we can change the direction. So why don't we look that up right now? Uh, let's see here. Is it mechanical press? No. Vertical gearbox. There's a clutch. So let's see, vertical uh, gearbox. Uh, so, okay, so gearbox and vertical, and you can switch between the two. Perfect. Uh, so all we need is andesite casing, which we'll get, we'll grab, and then we'll just need to do some cog wheels around it to make the gearbox. Okay, do we have, do we have the small cogs? We do. Uh, let's put the big ones away for the time being. Let's throw these buttons in here. Throw those in there as well. Oh no, we actually need the buttons, I think. Oh, we're going to need andesite. <clears throat> oh, let's let's make some. So I have some algae or el algal, algal maybe. Have I pronounced that right? And we need the and a site. Do I have it in here? I do. So I have a stack. We'll do something. Actually, let's get another stack of this. Might as well make a bunch of this. No, oh, I guess I'm only going to make half. That's that's fine. Um, And then... 
Put that there. So this makes eight. So one, two, three. Okay. I don't know why those guys are haw in my ear. I really appreciate they leave. Hmm. Um. Wait. Let's make some gearboxes now. I just need some wood. Or andesite casings. What is this? Oh, is it just like wood wood? It's wood wood. Um, I guess some logs. Oops. There we go. Doesn't it sound like that little, that little guy is just saying like, How are you doing? Oh, it's andesite. Where'd it go again? There it goes. Andesite. There. One, two. Might as well get a few of these. Did he just do something on my... My smithing table? Oh, he is a toolsmith. Interesting. Um, Alright. Gearbox. Sweet. Now, we should probably make a couple gearboxes. Let's make a few of these, since we've got... We're going to be needing them anyhow, long term. Because uh, we're going to need some for different positions and whatnot. So there we go. Perfect. Uh, and we're going to need some... Shafts, which I think, if I remember correctly, we made some already. Yeah, it's just two, two of those. Perfect. We got a stack now. Awesome. All right. Let's let's get a rocking and a rolling. So this is a regular. So if we wanted to make it vertical. All right, we don't want to do it. We don't want to do vertical right now. So what I'm going to think, what I'm thinking of doing is taking this <clears throat> and coming straight out. Um, if we're going to make this look nice, we should probably do this. Should we do one on the other side? It's kind of a waste right now, <laughs> but I'm going to do it anyhow. So we should be able to connect anywhere we want here. And we'll have this coming off. And then we'll change this to a vertical. Perfect. And then we will set this here. And then now we can go underground and we can go wherever we want. Actually, why don't we do this? Am I able to do this like that? I don't know. We'll find out. Um, let's get some water flowing. Why do I hear... Your um bones. There must be like a little cave there or something. Hey, it's working. It's working. Sweet. All right. Um. So my goggles. Yeah. So it's doing 120 or 192, and it is spinning this. Perfect. So I should be able to grab. I should be able to go ver uh, vertically or, um, yeah, up or down, basically. Now my curiosity is that if I break this block, what if I break that block? Nothing. Why you no go down the back? I want to see if this kind of like slows this down at all. Yes, it does. Oops. Oh, big time. What's going on here? We have learned our lesson. Shut that off. Now, I don't know what the max is. Eh, 256. Oh, it's going down to the bottom here now. More. <clears throat> so what if I put that there? 256 is still the current speed. OK. 
Okay, so what if I do something like that? Does that help the speed? No, nah, I think 256 is probably going to be the, the highest I can go. Okay, so that should connect. Yes, it does. Sweet. So, all right. My idea here is we're going to take... Uh, we don't have we don't have any belts yet, uh, but we will. Uh, we should work on that right now. So we got power, and we can do a couple things with this. Actually, should we do this? We should do this first. All right, we can take that down for the time being. Let's grab our gearboxes. And I think we're just going to do one level down. I, th I think that'll be best. Oh. I'm a dingus. We need to transfer this. Uh, this way. Perfect. And then we can run it off that way. So. That being said. We can have our... Equipment right over top of this line here. Uh, and then we can um, power it, right? So we need a we need actually two of these because we need to transfer it to go upward. Um, and I'm thinking we could probably use gearing to gear these as well, maybe. We'll see. We'll see. So let's do. Let's put that one. That's not going to work. Why do I have to? Okay, I have to do it like that. Perfect. And then we'll just do something like that. And then I'm thinking that I do something like this. With a small cog here. Right? And then maybe one there. They're running in the same direction, so then now we can actually run both mills at the same time. So if I place one here, that's running. And then, where was that other mill? Oh, I have it over here. So we can run, we can basically be milling twice. Well, actually, no. Why don't I just put it right here? There. Sweet. So I don't know what the SU means. Okay, does this tell me... Okay, so 256 SU. So that must be like the current total amount. I'm not 100% I'm not sure. Uh, let's take these. Uh, this should be powered as well, because this would be really nice to have that automated. So maybe, maybe we'll do this as well next. Let's see here. Where was the base? I know it's getting dark. And um, we're going to need a gearbox. Do we have another gearbox? We don't have another gearbox. Okay, this is perfect time. We can sleep and then we can make another gearbox. And then we'll place that up top with that attached, and then we'll have the press running. Uh, and then the only thing we need to do is start automating it a little bit with belts. Uh, <laughs> uh, so let's get out of my way, please. Let's make some more of these. Um, we need to make... Wait, don't I have enough? Oh, I need... Yes, yes, yes. Okay, I only have enough to make two of them, which is fine. Uh, I need to go up one more. And then I can put the gearbox way back there, apparently. What are you doing there, big boy? Just kind of moping around. He's just sad. Alright, is that turning? That's not turning. I got the wrong one. 
Don't fall down there. Um, let's change this over. Sweet. And then place that on there. Hey! Look at that. Automation, baby. Alright, we can close this up now. So no one falls in. And there we go. We got our first little bit of automation. This is sweet. Now, this is not finished. I mean, we're way from where we need to be. But at least we got some stuff acquired. Now, I'm curious. Let's just take some iron. I just want to go place some iron on here. Make some plates. So I'm coming over here and I'll be like, nah. Look at this. A chink. Good chink. Now that's kind of slow. We probably could speed it up by using some gearing. But it's a start. It's definitely a start. Uh, we can... These saws... Why don't we... We could just... Oh, I was thinking we could put it on top. I'm probably going to have to get some more gearboxes and just maybe put the... Put one of them there. I don't need. I don't think we need two of them. Oh, your health is back. Sweet. We should name him. Someone. Uh, you guys should uh, come up with a name. What's what should we name the 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 golem? Okay, let's uh, put some things away here. And the next step, we're going to be working on. We'll put, uh, yeah, the plates in there. That kind of stuff. Might as well throw those in there because we're going to use them in there as well. Or no, 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 no. What am I doing here? We'll throw these over here just so that we keep things in order. Um, we need, we need, we need, we need to get some belts. So let's take a look at rubber. And I'm guessing, I'm guessing we need rubber. So we need to compact it. We can use tulips or some kind of flower with water in a basin with a uh, mechanical press. <clears throat> um, let's see here. Or we can use resin in a mechanical press. Now, the resin is using a, a, a boreal extractor, and I think we should make one of those. So we just need an andesite. So we need one of these. Uh, we just put a bunch of stuff away, didn't we? Let's see here. Dog wheels and casings. I think I need the saw. We need buckets as well. And it's just wood. And andesite. Wood and andesite. We'll grab one of those. Grab wood. Where is the... Can we put it in here? Alloy? I thought we had some in here as well. I don't see it. I don't see it. Alright. What do we need to do? Oh, you know what? We don't have very many cogwheels. We only have three. So let's make the cogwheels first. This, this will get ingrained in my head pretty soon. <laughs> Trust me. Um, we need that, and... Oh, we need buttons. We have, we have some in here. Yeah, there we got 64 now. That and then the buttons around it. Where? Oh, there's the buttons. Oh, is it all the way around it, maybe? Yes. Okay. That'll be enough for right now. Ah. 
I'm gonna throw that there. Um, throw the wood there. There we go. So we made 29. Perfect. So now we just need to make this, which we do have the casings. So we're gonna make a few. Three. So unfortunately, we can only make three. That's fine. That's fine. Um, now we just need to make buckets, which we do have a bunch of iron. Three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So we'll make three of these. We should probably make four at some point in time, but that's... We'll start with three. Oh my goodness, I can't... There we go. Perfect. Okay, so I think we just set this next to a tree. So we'll come over here. We'll set them here. And I'm not sure if they need power or not. Let's see here. Information. Extracts fluids from adjacent trees. Use fertilizer to boost productivity. Put the axe... Put down the axe. Oh, yeah, we're already getting resin. Sweet. Okay. Um, fertilizer. Now, in the last episode... Um, this appetite, I think we can change that into fertilizer. Um, it was like phyto grow or something like that. Here, let's just do this. Yeah, we can make phyto grow. So why don't we try making some phyto grow, which is just, um, niter, niter, crisp, uh, dust. An appetite and sand. So I think we have all our ingredients. So let's go take some niter and, and dust it up. Because I wonder... That should give us a little bit more, right? Oh man, that is so awesome. <laughs> we are on our way. Let me search for sand. Maybe I don't have sand. Oh, we got some sand. So as soon as this is done... Yeah, let's put this dirt away. Uh, there we go. We'll have everything we need. Now, actually, I should... Should it be the small... No, that's. I think that's right. The big one turning the small one will give it definitely more speed, I think. So, I'm wondering, since this says... Oh, so each is 256. So we have... Um, seven... Eight something, right? Two, four, six, seven, seven, fifty, seven, eighty, something like that. So we have plenty of extra room to uh, to run some machines on here yet. <clears throat> the question being is, I think what we should do is set up an assembly line with the 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 presses. Because that's going to be something that I think we we definitely need. Okay, so that made eight. I'm not sure how many I threw in there though. Can't remember. Let's uh let's put those in there. Put that there, sand, and then that. And we'll just make as many as we can. Perfect. Let's go see if this works. Is it going any faster? I don't know. We should uh, go to bed so we don't uh, spawn too many skellies or zombies here. And I did go put some beds back. <laughs> so the, the, the villagers might not... Um, they might stay out of my my home, but they really don't care. 
Oh yeah, look at this. It's working. Sweet. So 150, 125. Okay, so we need to set up a um a basin, I think it was. So let's get rid of all these. Oh, we do need to set up a sediment strainer as well. So much to do. Um, so let's grab a basin. So we need a basin. Let's hit W to ponder on it, just to make sure. After processing a step begins, try to output below off the side of them. Okay. So we can throw it on a conveyor belt. Or we can throw it into another basin. All right. Okay, so it will remain inside. Oh, wait, look at this. You can use belts to... Okay, not for just transporting, but for also moving. Ah, okay. And then look at this. One gear is moving multiple things. That's... Okay, we're going to have to keep that in mind. Absolutely. Um, Do-do-do. Please don't say I used it all up. All right, we're going to have to make some more, I think. All right, I didn't have any up there. What was it again? Um, oh, and we're definitely going to have to figure out a way of... <clears throat> oh, no, I'm out of andesite already? No, 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 no. I'm not out of it. Right here. Deuce. Scared myself there for a second. Perfect, got 64... All right, let's create a basin. And I think we have, yeah, we have a pedestal out here. So why don't we get rid of this for the time being? And it says it could, if I have something like here. Oh yeah, look at that. Sweet. Um, all right, so we need to put the resin in there. And the question is, how do I put resin in there? <laughs> 250. So can I fill this? I guess 250 is not enough to grab from it. Alright, so we'll have to wait for that. Um, yeah, so basically something along this lines, but we could have we could just use a belt instead of using a shaft. I don't know. We'll have to we'll have to play around with the belts a little bit. This is uh really cool though. <laughs> I am super stoked about this. So we can come straight off of there, off of the front there. We can still come off of this one here if we need to. And we can always maybe you know what we could do too, is we could just go vertically with this. And we could put more of these up here. And I'm wondering if we could just use um just belts to connect each layer and it would just like increase the speed a little bit more. I don't know. Dude, you are defying gravity right now. How I think I'm doing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How do you think I'm doing? Uh, so there is recipes, recipe filters, which is cool. Okay, let's... How much longer? So it's going to take a little bit. I'm guessing it has to be, it has to have enough to, uh, to extract into a bucket. I don't remember how much a bucket holds. Is it a thousand? Maybe it is. Okay, let's take a look at some other things then, uh, while we're waiting. Um, or you know what we should do? We should just make some more of that. Maybe make, uh, another, make one more. Uh, it wasn't a basin. Uh, um, I, I can't remember what it was called. 
Huh. Or we can work on the mechanical strain or the strainer. Why don't we do that? So we used all those up, so let's make some more. Make another one of these. Do I have, it wasn't sand. It was just wood, right? Wood and cog wheels and alloy. Okay, that should be enough. And then Yeah, we can only make one more. That's fine. That's fine. We we got we got two. And then we just need iron bars. Now can we make so we can make them with six or three nuggets. We only need one. So maybe that's the better I better way of going here. So let's just take that and then throw it three nuggets in there. Oh, look at that. Sweet. That's cool. And throw that bag up there. Let me go over here. And there we go. We got our strainer base. Generates items while in water. Requires a strainer and water on top. So it has to be in the water fully. Uh, so if we're gonna do a sediment strainer, we need canvas. And canvas, we need straw. And I think that's wild rice. So we take the wild rice, put it in here, and it will give us rice seeds, or yeah, I'm guessing rice seeds, and straw. So let's go grab our assortment of those. There's quite a bit of berries in there as well. Dude, you just come out of there? You just came out of the composter. Um, here we got 64. Let's go. Th You're, you guys are just having way too much fun. Oops. Let's throw, like, much as it can in there. We'll just do both at the same time. There we go. Sweet. Now, if I click, look at that. Oh, we got 11 of them. 21, 28. All right, we'll let that finish. And I think if I just do that. No, I don't need to make a bale. I just need canvas. Which is just four. Okay, so I got seven of them, which plenty and I need sticks now okay let's put some stuff away um those in there make some sticks okay uh let's see here how do we Make one just for the time being. Now, I'm not sure. It says 300 uses, but I'm not sure if we have to do anything. Like, do we have to insert anything into it? So it says it has to be completely submerged underwater. Grab these. Let's not do that. Pick that up. Uh, it sounds. It looks like they don't even... Um, these guys don't harvest the tomatoes. I, I've been harvesting them. Um, let's set this up. Let's set it up right here. Alright, so. Is this going to be deep enough? I don't believe so. Okay. One more down. And then we put that down. And then we put the strainer on. Oh! Actually, it was deep enough. Go down. There we go. So we're going to have to keep an eye on this for sure. And then strainer, hopefully. Yes. Perfect. Now, no problems detected. It's 
going. Maybe I should have it out one more. Or two? So that it has more water around it? Maybe we'll go faster? I don't know. What's your recipes? Okay, so we're going to get sand, white sand, orange, and clay. So this catches fish, junk, and treasures. And that's bamboo, but we don't have bamboo currently. We can buy it once we have it. Hey, 99... Wait. Hey, there's our first item. White sand. Sweet, I guess. <laughs> um, so after 300 items, we're, we're pretty much done with that. Uh, we'll just have to put more... What, what other options are on there? So there's bait... Bait pot slot. Okay. Interesting. All right, we're getting clay. So I guess, it, you know, it's passive. We don't have to search for clay any longer as long as we're, we have enough. Um, we do have the basin set up. Do we have enough? Oh, we can clear things out of here too. Sweet. I think once we hit a thousand, we'll be able to try bucketing, right? Let's go to sleep. Oh, sorry, buddy. All right, let's go see if we have enough now. Give me. Nope. That's 800. I mean, I hope I can grab out of it. <laughs> I have no idea, actually. Um, let's go clean up our inventory a little bit here. We just got a whole bunch of junk. Uh, sand can go in there. Sticks can go in there. That can go in. We'll throw these in here. So we do have another uh, andesite machine, just in case we want to build something else. Does this take an andesite machine? No. The press does. So we can make another press. We're going to need like three of them anyhow uh, to build a whole bunch of different things. Pressing, does pressing, and then automatic pack packing. Whoa. Carrot crate. Oh, I bet this is for selling. Rune bag. We do have some runes. So you can sell these. Oh, here's some ingots. Not ingots, I'm sorry. Blocks. Oh, one other thing I wanted to mention too. This is something that we need to make. Um, if we take a look at bread, there's this one that says glowing bread. Completely resource hunger. Plus tw times 20 uh, hunger. Or um, not hunger, but um, sat 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 or what, what is it called? <laughs> um, whatever it's called. Where saturation, jeez. Um, but we need to make this glowing water. Uh, harms undead uh, enemies, which is okay, but it's super easy to make. We just need nether wart, glowstone dust, and gunpowder. Uh, we have gunpowder, we have glowstone dust, we don't have nether wart. So we do have another portal we go through and get some stuff. Uh, why is there weed over here? All right, let's see here. 950, 925. Yeah, so they're going to be ready to rock and roll here. And then we'll have our first little bit of rubber. And then I think we have to... Um, we have to cure it. All right, so cured rubber is what we need. I believe. I should look that up. Um, belt. I think we looked this up. Mechanical belt. We need six of them. And to make just one we can smelt them it's one to one there we can buy them so really smelting is going to be the way just smelting them induction would be the best but we'd have no power generation we could make this i think oh no 
Or no, it's just some kind of sand. Oh wait, no, this is chapter three. Yeah, we're not there yet. <laughs> not unless we got really, really lucky and we got those somewhere else. But we're definitely not getting them. Um, I also noticed the satchel. So it's it's just leather, zinc, and wool. I'm not sure how many items it picks up, but it would not be a bad idea to have some kind of extra carrying capacity. Uh, what do we got here? A thousand. Hey, there we go. So what do we do here? We just click that. Sweet. How many does it give me? Oh, it's still going. I wonder if I could put a chest there. So it must t make four per thousand, maybe. No, it's empty. Okay, I grabbed out of there. Yep, I gotta grab you. How much can that handle? A thousand. Hey, we got... I think we're gonna have enough here. So it makes... It's 250 per. And so that's four. So we're gonna have 12 total, which should have enough. So let that roll. And I think we have enough for... We got eight, so we can cure these. Get those going at least. Now, does that go until I pick it up? It oh, it does. Or no, it's all done. Or no, it was not. Interesting. All right, cool. Belts, here we come. We only need six of you to make three belts. Which is not very much. We need a lot more. <laughs> um, I'll put those in there, because we're going to need them. Uh, put that in there as well as that. Um, that in there. Excuse me, sir. One more. All right, let's make some belts. Sweet. Okay, we have belts. Now, how does the belt work? You know, the, the other thing, too, is uh, I think we need a wrench. Yes. A uh, useful tool for working on kinetic uh, contraption can be used to rotate, disassemble, uh, dismantle, and configure components. Um... Right-click kinetic block, rotates components towards or away. Uh, Right-click with sneaking, disassembles, connect. So we should make one of these and have one on us. So we need gold, three gold sheets. And one more, we can make another three. Excuse me. Um, oh yeah, I've got everything I need here. Do, 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 do. This is exciting. Uh, let's throw all three on you. There we go. Do your, do your work. And I think what I'll do is I'll just place the base in here. Now, we can have these all set up and then have a conveyor belt going off to like a storage area and just have these automatically and complete it. Now, I think you can do the pressing straight on a... Um, a, a belt as well. So, so I need a stick and a cogwheel. Okay, we've got a wrench. Cool. So sneak. Oh, it tells me. Oh, I forgot that I had stuff in here. Okay, that's cool. So you can sneak to actually see contents. Um, Alright, I want to try this out. 
Let's say I want to go from here to here. Oh, oh. Do I not have enough belts? I don't know how this works. I don't think I have enough belts. They don't stack more than three. All right, let's see here. So right click two shafts with a belt and we'll connect it. Accidental sections can be canceled with right click while sneaking. Additional shafts can be added throughout the belt. Shafts can be connected with um, identical speeds. Okay. Um, adding shelf can be removed using a wrench. Uh, mechanical belts can be dyed for aesthetic purposes. That's it. Okay, so let's go try this again, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap up this episode. So what? That one and that one. Is it because it's connected? Maybe. Let's do this. Can I get up here? Oh, yeah. Uh, nope. Okay, let's... Okay, that's not running. So what if I do something like this? Does it have to be disconnected or something? Or is it because of this block here? Hmm. I'm confused. Why you know worky worky? Um Can I hook these two up? All right, that works. So why doesn't That worked. <laughs> um interesting. I it seems that I lost some stuff though. Oh no, it's down in there. Interesting. So, can I hook that back up? I can. So, I got a question here. Can I... Let's get rid of all this stuff underneath here. Let's do... I know it's getting dark. I'm in a hurry here. Okay. Let's go to bed quickly before we get overrun. Ah. And, uh... Alright, so we have a belt there. So now, can I disconnect it by sneaking... Right clicking. Okay, do I get that belt back? I do get my belt back. Sweet. Okay, that being said, can I click that? Oh, I can't go there. Um Okay. Let's try something here. What if we What if we do this? Shaft. Shaft here. Which then a shaft goes here. And then we have another shaft there. Right? And so we just take our belt. Now, is this only one belt? Wait, why... Why well, won't it go down to here? Is it does it have to be kind of like an open air? I wonder if it has to have the extra space. Let's 
try this now. Huh. Why you no worky worky? It's only showing up there that I can connect. Hmm. Yeah, there's going to be a, definitely a lot of uh, messing around here. And I think what I'm going to do is we're going to end up um, stopping the episode here. I'm going to play around with this for a while, probably, to figure out how this all works. And then in the next episode, we will... Hopefully come back. So it does show me where I can hook it up. Like, there. It, it shows green. But. I don't want it there. Like, I want it. Like, on. That one. And. It does work. It does work. Did it? Okay, maybe I already had it clicked on somewhere else beforehand. So if I go down to there. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I tried to end this episode how many times now? Um, let's try this again. Go here. Into there. Look at that. Sweet. That, that is awesome. then we don't even have to use these other connections at all. So we can use those gearboxes for other means. Um, maybe the gearboxes would be more beneficial for, say... Um, oh, is that only use? That only uses one. I wonder if there's, like, the maximum distance you can run with a belt. I don't know. That would be interesting. Um, but these would be basically just, like, to get them in certain places, and then the belts would be the cheapest way, I think to go right I would like actually I just want to set up a belt <laughs> I want a belt now um so what if I do something like this and then I throw that in there and I do this I could technically All right, we're just playing around here. Could technically have a belt. Run right across here. So, can I have one straight off of there? I can. All right, let's get rid of this cogwheel just for the moment. And... I just want to see if I can ride on it. <laughs> Right click. Look at that. That is so sweet. All right, so it's going this this direction. Um, now if I put something on here that it will crush. Um, let me grab like an iron ingot or something. Do I have one in here? I do. Yeah, let's grab like a couple. Can I throw stuff on here? A right click. There we go. Here goes, folks. What? Oh, it's doing it. It was doing it. Look at that. So what happens if it hits the end? Hey, it just pops right off. Okay. 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 Um, sorry. The episode's getting a little long. I don't. I don't care. Um, getting super excited here. Um, what if we do something like, I don't know if this is going to, this is probably not going to work, but if we do, actually, you know what? I have too many belts. We, we only need one belt. We only need this belt here. Um, and I'll show you why. Let's, let's try this first. So if I throw that there, I throw that on there. So can I ride this first of all? Yes, you can. <laughs> you can ride it. Uh, let's just back up and just watch it. 
I'm guessing it's not going to go in, but it would be kind of cool if it did. No, it does not go in. Okay, so there is specific things that we're going to have to do. But I do want to see if I can't get this to to work the way that I have in my head. So, we don't need those. We don't need those. But what we do need is one coming across. Oh, I thought we could put one in there, can't we? There we go. Maybe because I was right-clicking or something. Um, did I get it back? And then we need a vertical gearbox. Now I'm understanding it. Now I'm totally understanding this. So that... That is how you do things. Perfect. You could, technically... How about this? Make it even cheaper yet. Look at that. Bada bing, bada boom. Now we're running everything off of one belt. And then this is running this. That's sexy. Oh, man, that is so... That's awesome. Now how many belts did I use? Oh, that's stacked, finally. Um, so I have four belts, and I only use two. Now, I did a little bit of messing around here, but that's the only way that I could get down further. If I move this down one, then I don't even have to have any of this. But this, this works. So this is our first assembly line. Um, the question is... We have to figure out how to make sure we're going in the right direction all the time. And that's going to be something that we're going to have to always keep in mind. So as we're pulling things or doing automated things, getting things up to the surface, and that was one of the, the, the quests in here. So we take a look at the quests. Um, so I think we can... So that's the lift right here. So all andesite is likely not going to be generated near the, uh, near the factory. Figure out a way to bring it to the surface. So we need to figure out some way of bringing it up, but we have to... We didn't get down there yet. <laughs> um, we didn't automate the kelp, but we do have a bunch of kelp. So I'm just going to cross this off. Um, sediment catching, we got done. Um, clay washer. Uh, with the help of an enclosed fan, sand can be refined into clay. This right here, a bulk. Let's let's uh, mark that. We'll do that for next time. Um, and then we can run it through water, it looks like. Uh, can we hit a W here? Now, I don't think it shows really... Rotational force to create an air current. Uh, strength and direction of the flow depends on the rotational input. Okay, so we do have to make sure that we have some kind of rotational uh, push on there. So that's that's a thing as well. So, but yeah, we we're we're doing it. So, um, what if we can we do these small cogs sideways? We can, but the only thing is you can't hook them up, say to. Yeah, see, you can, but you can't do it flat. So that's the only downside with that. Um, before, <laughs> again, I've been trying to shut this uh, this, this down for a while, but um, this this is just exciting. I mean, small as it is, um, it's kind of limitless. We can we can make a ton of stuff. As I was kind of going down here, I did put stairs. I did widen this all the way up to two and also enough not to hit her head. So save us on uh, food consumption. But if we come all the way down here, I did not do anything with this, but we found some dark stone. Um, we're at Y level seven. So I didn't make it down to bedrock down yet, but I wanted to make sure that you guys were around when I grabbed this. Just in case something happened. 
Arcane Crystal Ore? Well, hello there, beautiful. I've never found that yet. Dark Rune Stone. Oh. Okay. Wonder what those do. All right, let's, um... I want to get down to Bedrock. So let's clear this out. Okay, there's Bedrock. Perfect. So, we have made the Bedrock. Do I have Cobble? I do have Cobble. And I'm hoping we can find maybe a spot that's kind of a little cleaner. Oh, we're literally right on Bedrock. Right here. Maybe at like a bigger section of Bedrock that's flat? And then the next question is... Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. Um, can we run these... Can we run belts at an angle? Let's try this. I'm curious. Can we go, like, here? I'm guessing no. And here. Can I take my belt? Oh my god, it's... Nope. Hold on, hold on. It's saying it needs to go down one. Holy crap. You can do it at an angle. I wish... I wish I had a webcam, because my face is just dumbfounded right now. Alright. <laughs> so, this is how we're going to get things up. Um, there's not like an elevator, no. Okay, well, this is the way we're going to go up. We're just going to have to make a third row, a uh, walkway, I'm guessing. And that way that we can actually follow it up. And it shouldn't be too steep, right? So we'll just, uh, the only problem is I have kind of levels here. Might have to fix that. So a third walkway off to the side here. Eh, maybe maybe we'll just use this side here. We don't. I guess we can walk up next to it, right? Whatever. Um, we'll figure out another time. We have to figure out how we can actually uh, pick up that stuff anyhow, or to drill. I don't know if there's a drill. There is a drill. Um, yeah, mechanical drill. Let's take a look at that real fast. So, basically, as, as long as something is in front of it, it just will break it. Now, the only question is, how does it, like, pick it up? Does it pick it up? No. Oh, look at this. So, these are all the associated... So, the deployer... I can't remember what that was. Okay, so that's basically like putting things down. Inventory anywhere. Okay. Um, the filter slot can be used to specify which items. So you can specify, you know, specific ones. This is kind of cool here. So you can extend the the reach of this like piston. It looks like it looks like a sticky piston. Okay, we'll we'll I'll have to we'll have to figure this out for sure. We we finally got stuff automated. I'm gonna have to set down our um, our crushers or millstones. Um, get those operating back again, and I'm gonna fit. I'm just gonna have to figure out how I'm gonna have that set up. Not exactly sure yet, um, but yeah, super excited. This is awesome um can i just do this does that no that won't turn that okay worth a shot you gotta try everything right so uh thanks for watching don't forget to hit that like button if you guys like the video it really 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 helps out the channel and uh don't forget to subscribe if you're not uh, most people that watch my videos are not subscribed so uh let's let's try to uh fix that and <laughs> um 
just by hitting subscribe and and grow the community. I'd really, really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. I do appreciate you guys. Have a wonderful day.